Hi, I'm Dr. Proctor with Beltline Health, and thank you for joining us today. Today's topic is what is bariatric surgery? I think it's one of those things that uh, a lot of people have ideas about. Even people who have had bariatric surgery may not be uh, really comfortable or, uh, or give a great explanation of what this is. In fact, a lot of primary care referring doctors may not have the best idea about what bariatric surgery actually is and what it's all about. Funny thing is, you know, I've been doing this for over a decade now, and I'll be the first to admit that for the longest time, we probably as bariatric surgeons didn't understand what bariatric surgery is. So let's kind of delve into that a little bit. Bariatric surgery is much more than a procedure or a group of procedures that reduce the size of the stomach. You know, it's often thought that if we do a gastric bypass or place a lap band or do a sleeve gastrectomy, what we're actually doing is reducing the size of the stomach, which uh, makes a patient eat less food, feeling that, you know, that's what's going to help them lose weight. What we've discovered over, with research over the last 10 years is that bariatric surgery really is much more of a physiologic or metabolic type of thing. So regardless of the type of procedure, meaning sleeve gastrectomy, gastric bypass, duodenal switch, uh, all of these operations will kick off a metabolic response in the body where in effect the brain will reset how much fat a patient should be carrying around. All of us over the years, or most of us anyway, have uh, certainly gained more fat than we wish to have. We've been through various diet attempts to lose weight and we'll see some weight come off for a period of time. We'll, uh, we'll stall out in that weight loss and over time we'll see the weight come back. That's because we have a physiologic set point of how much fat we should have. We can borrow some of that fat for a while, but it's always going to come back. Now with bariatric surgery, what it in effect does is resets that set point for how much fat you should have. How does it do that? Why does it do that? We actually don't know. There's a lot of research going into that. But essentially, when a patient wakes up from surgery, they still have this much fat, adipose tissue, but their brain now says this is abnormal. According to your DNA, you're only supposed to have this much. So to get you from abnormal back down to normal, patients will go through a year to year and a half long hypermetabolic phase where their body is actively trying to burn off these excess calories. Their hunger hormones will go really quiet. We actually have to coach them to eat more food than they feel like eating. And this whole process will occur until their brain is satisfied that they've reached their new lower weight. Once they're there, metabolism goes back to normal again, which is good. You don't want to keep losing weight. But it can also be a bad thing because a lot of patients will get to this point and feel like, you know what, I've seen myself lose all this weight over the last few years. Now I can go back to eating all the things that I enjoy eating, but I won't be able to, it won't affect me because I can't eat much. Well, our food supply is so calorie dense that yeah, you can, you can gain that weight back. So what is bariatric surgery? It's a metabolic shift. It's an operation that creates a metabolic change in the body that will reset how much fat that your brain believes you should be carrying around. And doing that in combination with a lifestyle change where you're going to maintain a healthy lifestyle dietary wise, it is a way to lose weight and keep that weight off permanently. If you're interested, you want to hear more from us, Check the link down below and we'll be happy to talk to you more about it. Thanks for joining.